all trouble. How did it feel as a coach that you can just put in, you know, a bench post player and nothing drops off production? I am beyond grateful because this whole year has been different role and uh, you know it's been by committee and they have they have stayed that course and they've hung with me they believed in me and I've just said we're we're always going to go with who's given what we need and um, that is really hard it's kind of it's 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 easier to coach a Megan right who plays 40 minutes and Monica you, there's not a lot of decisions right in that way because you're the confidence is always there and they know who the second person off the bench is for those four or five minutes a game. This, they gotta be with me. You gotta just be rolling, and you gotta be able to say, you know, Addie, go. Tonight, your your height is bothering her. You're, you're pushing her off the block. And if you watch them, it's beautiful. They are up and they are screaming, and they are with all those posts when the one that's in the game's coming, they are like, you got this, you know, you know rubbing them up so I just feel so grateful I'm so happy for Addie because you know she's tough she's had a tough role and um, it just was a good night I'm just thankful I mean Angel's great I mean Angel's numbers were great and it, you're not gonna stop her but I just felt like Addie did enough to throw them off and she did enough when we needed it and that's why honestly we could, we could go when when uh, Hannah had three fouls right and so Lisa's like you know she kind of looked at me she's like is Hannah I said well, right now we're rolling she's like I just she's like just you know double checking you know how's it going is Hannah hurt I said no but she's good with it beautiful thing Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Looking back at your guys' game plan for the game today, uh -huh. was there one thing that you feel like you guys really executed really well from that game plan? Yeah, I, I really like the fact that we, we transitioned like crazy. When we saw a scene, we said, you're going to go. You're going to go. I thought our ball screen defense and our ball screen offense was pretty good. We forced a couple. Um, but I, we, we wanted to switch. Uh, we don't always do a lot of switching of screens or different to three to fours. But we felt like Sid and Kate and our fives could do that, which is different. It's not something we do all the time. And they really executed that quite, quite well. Um, and, you know, Kate had a big assignment with that Morrow. She's so tough. Kate got caught on the fourth quarter. She got caught on the high side. But Kate doesn't really play. She didn't play post a lot. And we, you don't have a lot of time to practice it in the sense we had to be Colorado. And therefore, didn't quite do what Morrow does. And so in practice, you're kind of not wanting to go too hard on their legs. And so you're kind of telling them, but man, I tell you, you get in there and feeling it. And so that last quarter, the last five minutes, we had a little adjustment. I just said play totally behind so she didn't get caught high. Um, but overall, I thought that those three things, sorry, not to be succinct, the ball screen defense and ball screen offense was good transition that was the first thing we wanted to run them because we thought that was an area we could do and they did and then I thought we really executed that defensive switch. Well. Coach, how, how big and how important is it to be here making it back to the Final Four for the Big Ten Conference? Oh, I just feel really grateful. I mean, I just give, I'm so thankful to the good Lord for blessing us with this type of year and uh, I mean, going back to back is just... That's special, you know, and I, I just think, I don't know if you guys were here, but um, this team this year, uh, I think it's just been a, a heck of a ride, and it's been, a, you know, Lisa's deal with pressure is a privilege, and it is. We wouldn't want any other way, but, boy, this year had a lot. You know, it's like when we first were trying to get this team to say, you're this year, you're not that year, you know, last year. And everybody's like, we don't mom, we don't McKenna, and we're like, well, look at what we have. And it took a while, and then, you know, we got there. But then as the spotlight grew, with Caitlin breaking every record, right, and everybody wanting that, and then with our whole team, I mean, they had a shoulder too. Because I think what people forget is that's instant motivation, and everybody's got a hand. As much as when the opponent wants to take down Caitlin, or when everybody's talking about, like, you know, they don't want her to break the records or whatever, everybody's showing out. And so this team just put their head down and was like, okay, we're going to enjoy it as much as we can. And then to end up at the Final Four, back to back and being reps for the, the Big Ten, man, I, this is stuff of dreams. Uh, as a, a coach in this stage of my career, when I think back uh, to my younger days, and I'm just beyond thankful and so happy for Lisa. And Jenny Fitz, my goodness. Jenny is phenomenal. And, but Lisa, all the years, the way she's done it, and she's always had such great uh, leadership and integrity, and I think she's done one heck of a job navigating this year.